everyone this video is called i built turbo shoes to run faster let's check it out just about every day i run about three miles to the gym so i can jog on the treadmill now the only problem with that is by the time that i get there that's a lot of mcdoubles man for sure my legs are so destroyed and exhausted from all the running that i can barely make it through oh man he got ketchup on his head my <laughs> workout there's gotta be a better way okay so it turns out that they're actually Oh man, hopefully he didn't do that in an actual gym. Actually is a better way. That'd be a, uh, quite a bit to clean up. I, I saw some uh, burgers go everywhere. These are AI powered shoes that make you walk 250% faster. Here's some footage I found of them in action on a small YouTube channel. And as you can see, this guy- AI shoes. Guys having no trouble getting to the gym. These would definitely make my life a lot easier. But of course, there's a catch. They're entirely sold out. And even if they weren't so- What? Sold out, they're $1,300. So if I want an efficient way of traveling that doesn't ruin my workout, I'm gonna have to take this into my own hands. So I'm gonna build my own pair of shoes that not only makes me run faster, but- Guys, building your own shoes. It's gonna take a while, man. I'm not sure if this guy's like a building kind of YouTuber. It just popped up on my feed, guys. It eliminates my need to run. When you call Casey's nice stats channel a small channel, that is not a small channel, my friend. Entirely. Ladies and gentlemen, I think he's gonna this do it. This is unreal. I'm gonna build the fastest shoes in the world. So first things first, I'm gonna need some shoes. And did he really get... He got a... He got a water fountain up there, guys. How did he get that up there? That's cool. That's actually cool. He's got a water fountain. Where you don't really see a water fountain ever, guys. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna build the fastest shoes in the world. So first things... No big that's, deal. That's cool. That's cool. That's a real cool thing, not gonna lie. But I've gone up a shoe size since 8th grade. And yeah, I've only grown like an inch since 8th grade, but I can do this. Dude, same here. I stopped growing around that time, bro. <laughs> oh, snap. Still got it. I had those shoes back then, and they were alright. They, they did the job. Not as much as AI shoes, guys. AI shoes probably are better here, not gonna lie. Okay, so obviously these don't make running any easier. So I gotta attach more wheels to these things and figure out a way to motorize them. So first I needed a way to attach these wheels to the shoes. So I hit this piece of metal with a hammer a bunch of times. I think it helped. It did. It did help. Okay, now that I got some brackets on here, it's time to attach the wheels. All right. <laughs> some, uh, some computer chair wheels right there, guys. These are turning out to be like the sickest pair of Heelys I've ever seen, and they're probably going to be really fast, too. All right, these things look absolutely bonkers, and I... Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it's time to try them out. I, uh, I hope I don't die. Yeah, they should be good, right, guys? Whoa! Okay, these good. things are really fun. They're rolling around pretty good. Yeah, totally gonna... <laughs> totally not good as the AI shoes, guys. Like, that looks kind of dangerous. They don't really make running easier. In fact, it's much harder. But wait till I get a motor on these bad boys. These things are be crazy. Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Woo! Yeah, that's pretty cool. He also put like a Rick Ashley's video over his license plate. <laughs> so we don't get his license plate. That's good. We don't need it. We just need to see his AI shoes. I just ate it. Probably should mow the lawn though. Get over there. Got some gnarly road rash. Yeah. Sick. Okay, so two. Th wait, wait, wait. I just ate it over there. Got some gnarly road That's rash. Man. I remember as a kid always getting injuries like that, bro. Those hurt. Sick. Okay, so two things. These shoes still need a motor. And they also need brakes. Putting a motor and brakes on a pair of shoes? That was not going to be an easy feat. And for six solid seconds, I was convinced that it was impossible. Until I remembered that I know something that has a powerful motor and brakes. Jacob Toretto's Mustang from Fast and Furious. This beast had over 500 horsepower. In my cars, well, they had a picture of a horse on it. But regardless, they ripped and they most definitely have the type of speed that I was looking for. Bro, those look like $20 things you get at Toys R Us back when it was a, a thing, guys. I don't, think, I don't think that's the best thing to do some, uh, make a motor out of, but maybe like an RC. 
A bigger RC, guys. Not that. But hey. He might upgrade to it. Uh, I don't know. It might be good enough. Who knows? Why is he, he does so many shots like this where he's... There's two of them, guys. <laughs> Sure, this is gonna work? Of course, it's gonna work. Okay, ready? Ready? ready. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, I got one more idea. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that's a, that's what I was thinking. I don't think it, I didn't think it would work, guys. I didn't think it'd work. There I was with two broken Jacob Toretto Mustangs from the fact They could probably, they probably could sell those for $3 or something. Super cheap, man. His own invention is pretty good, though. Fast and Furious. And the only thing that was furious was me, because I spent so much time on building these shoes and I didn't even have a motor. And then, it hit me. My electric scooter. It was built out of trash and it was insanely fast. And the best part is, it was all run off of this drill that I rewired to be a motor. So if I can. Okay, so he's pretty good at the building stuff, it seems. Make a drill power a pair of shoes. That would be insane. It's honestly quite simple. I put a wheel on the drill, then I put the drill on the shoe, then I'm flying down the road at record high speeds on my way to the gym. The only problem is, there really isn't anywhere to. Still a dangerous thing. A car would be better, I think. Even though I don't really approve cars that are not AI controlled, because it's just dangerous, it seems. To attach this drill to the shoe. So unfortunately, before I start rewiring drill motors, I'm gonna need to build a bigger pair of shoes that can accommodate this thing. At this point, it had been two days since I've been to the gym because I've been building these shoes the whole time, which was coming along pretty good. I just needed some wheels. How about these? Oh yeah. These wheels were literally perfect for what I was trying to do. The only problem was is that I only had enough for the back wheels. These aren't gonna get me to the gym. So I needed something like these. Super mega awesome. Once I got the wheels on there, I was on the right track to having some really fast shoes. Now that I had a new set of wheels, it was finally time to try these things out. And I think that, oh boy, okay, this is- Yeah, still not good enough, man. This is good. But it makes for entertaining video, right guys? Oh boy! Well, these work just fine, but considering I didn't put brakes on yet, I think I'm gonna be here a while. Mm -hmm. It's so hot, and I don't think I'm gonna be stopping anytime soon. You look thirsty, you want a glass of water? No thanks. You see, I don't need a glass of boring water. I don't drink glasses of boring water. I drink Air Up, which turns- Whoa. It's boring water into flavored water, making it taste like fruits and berries. You see, our sponsor. Oh, snap. Air Up has this crazy cool bottle that makes regular. It's like applesauce. Their water taste Those packets. Applesauce. It sounds good right now. Amazing without using sweeteners or additives. It's literally just plain water. So how does that work? Scent-based taste. You ever smell something so bad you can taste it? Well, that's kind of what <laughs> this bottle does, but in a good way. You just fill the bottle with regular water. Back at the place where I live, they have like 20 of those lined up. Water, then take one of the 15 different flavors of scent pods and stick it on the nozzle. Pull up on the pod to activate it, because if it's in the down position, you're just drinking plain water. That delicious water you're tasting, you're actually just smelling. Dude, that is so cool. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. However, uh, I'd rather see like, you know, a thermal that keeps stuff cold for a very long time, because it, it's summer right now, and that's what I really eat in my life. But don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. Ah, you tried to smell it, didn't you? Yeah, you did. All right, my roommate's never had this before, so I'm gonna have him try it right now. Yo, dude, try this. Bro, I don't think he has any roommates, man. <laughs> I, do, I really don't. That tastes amazing. Take the cap off and try again. That's just regular water. Well, I mean, it smells and tastes so good that I totally forgot that I was rolling down the road with no way of stopping. Click the link in the description and use discount code Jake20 to get 20% okay, okay. off your air up bottle today. Yes! Finally! Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! Okay, well, now that I know that these work, it's time for the fun part. And I mean that entirely sarcastically. This is not the fun part. I gotta get this drill positioned right here so I can move the back wheel. But first, I gotta re- Doing it with drills again, guys. Why are this- Hey, this is all stuff you can find inside your house. 
if you're lucky, so. So I can control it with my hand. This was about to be really stressful and not fun. Now, like, yeah, I know how to do it. I know what I'm doing, but it's super tedious and it takes forever. Not to mention I have to move the camera around like 500 times. But yeah, eventually I figured it out and it was fine. Check this out, ready? Oh snap, oh snap, he's good at this drill mechanics. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, it was super cool until I remembered I had to order a second drill and do this all over again. No, I do, you think I think he does a good job of making this stuff. These videos entertaining, guys. And while I wait for that to arrive, I'm gonna start mounting this one on here. So I mounted the first. Bro, how do you do those shots, man? How do, you, how do you do those shots where he's both in the... He, it's amazing. Drill on there, and it worked great, which was sick. And then the second drill came in the mail, which was sick. And then I had to rewire the second drill, which was not sick. But then once it was done and they both worked great, that was sick again. Dude, those are sick. Can I try? Dude, no way. Why not? Remember what happened last time? So how do you do these things? You just go. Yo, I, back in the day, I... Roller blades were one of my favorite things, for sure, guys. Once I got the right pair, they were super fun, man. What do you mean you just go? I don't know. I tried the other ones, the other ones with like four wheels, like, but they're like smaller. Those ones are hard. Those ones are very, very difficult. But these ones, these ones I could vibe with. These ones I'm good with, guys. You just go. Jake, Jake. Socks, you're Jake, fine. Jake. Oh, he fell. Well, it was time to ride these things to the gym. And to my surprise, these things were actually not that bad. Pretty good was an understatement. These things were incredible. And I was flying through town and I got about halfway to the gym and then this happened. I, I think he's going like three miles an hour, guys. You'd, you'd probably go faster walking, I think. Well. Back to the drawing board, back to the drawing board, right guys? Not going to the gym today. Man, this stinks. I haven't gotten exercise in days because I've been trying to figure this out and I'm fresh out of ideas. Dude, I'm at a loss. I've tried everything I could think of. Well, those shoes that we were looking at online were powered by AI. Maybe we could try that. Yeah, they were powered by AI. That's probably what I've been missing this whole time. But I didn't know how to make an AI powered shoe. So I went to the only source of AI power that I know and I asked it to give me its best idea. Guys, I want to buy that chat GPT, like, premium version. That, that sounds like a good thing to buy, man. But right now, we're, you know how we're saving up for that laptop, guys. But if I get chat GPT to, like, recommend me videos to watch, that would be very cool. Very, very cool. Yo, we got one! No way! Okay, he needs a way to motorize his shoes. Lawnmowers? Rockets. It's like if it, you, you you simulate how AI would be, uh, how AI would, you know, that if AI was actually visualized, you know, they do it in like a, the, the calculations in like a fraction of a second. It, it, probably something like this, right guys? I don't know. <laughs> Nuclear energy, a car motor. How about just like an electric skateboard motor? Yeah. Yep. That's a great idea. This was gonna change everything. This was gonna get me to the gym, and this was gonna make me run faster. Th oh, hold up a sec. Check out this kick. Oh, sick, right? Same, bro. So yeah, this was gonna get me to the gym, and I was gonna run faster than anyone in the world. Okay, now that I got two electric skateboard kits, it's time to turn them into shoes. It's gonna be insane. So basically, the plan here is to create platforms. Okay, now we're, we're getting into some decent uh, craftsmanship, guys. Finally, finally. So that I can connect the batteries and wheels to. I did like the skits. I did like the skits, you know. Some of these shoes, uh, I, I, it feels like I'd make it. <laughs>
If I was bored one day, you know what I mean? Then I just make a way for my feet to hook into them so I can wear them like shoes. All right, we got one down, one to go. And just in case you were like, whoa, Jake, that's a really cool shirt. Where'd you get that? Well, you can get your own shirt and support the channel by going to shop.jakecarlini.com. Not only are these extremely comfortable, one day we gotta get merch, man. But they're also the coolest shirt that you'll ever own. Ever since I started wearing this shirt, my basketball skills have increased by 12. And ever since I started wearing it, my parents have loved me more. There's no telling what can happen, but you're just gonna have to get one for yourself, and who knows? Maybe you'll become president someday. Well, these things were finally done, and I was ready to go faster than any man has ever gone before. But more importantly, I was just ready to get to the gym and get through a workout. The very next day, I wore the same shirt, but in blue, because we have it in blue. <laughs> but I was ready to get to the gym faster and more efficiently than I have ever gone before. Whoa. Yo, uh, that actually works, guys. He has a break now. I personally, you know, it'd make it cool if he had something like he could, uh, you know, like some Velcro over his shoes that he could put so he can, like, kind of skate in them. Now, these things were insane. They were doing all the running for me, and I was just standing there effortlessly while I'm flying down the road at probably like... Like a Segway, guys. Like 15, 20 miles an hour? The point is, I was cruising super fast all the way across town, and my legs weren't tired at all. Not it looks like it looks like it actually works, guys. Like pretty well. Like you can sell these. Not to mention, I look super cool. And the best part is, I got all the way to the gym and I made it through my workout without breaking a sweat. Wait. Or you can jog there. <laughs> That'd be a lot more. Uh... Wait. What do you mean? You did his workout without breaking a sweat? That's impossible. Unless he wasn't working out that hard. All right, guys. That's a video. Check them out in the description. See you guys next one. Later, guys.